Hello, my name is Fran Sands. Welcome to My Boxing Coach. Um, this is the first video in a brand new series that I'm going to do, and I'm going to try and keep these going for um, quite a long time. Basically, it's about um, uh, summarising a week in the life of a coach like me in a boxing club like this. Um, and we're going to work right through a boxing season. Uh, so as much as I possibly can, I'm going to post one video a week about what goes on in here, what we're trying to do and, and, and how we're trying to do it. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is the first. Before we get going, um, join the thousands of others who've downloaded their book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. Uh, 64 pages packed full of um, helpful information about how to set your boxing journey upright, whether you're doing this for fitness or for competition. So how to set up your own home gym, your own training regime and the phases of that training regime. Uh, pick the right equipment, get the most out of your heavy bag session, shadow boxing. There's a ton of stuff in there. There's a link down below and I will put a link at the end of the video as well. Right, let's quickly get onto this and this is a, more or less an introductory video. Um, a week in the life of a boxing coach. Uh, in a club like this, so this is a uh, this is Sefton Amateur Boxing Club. It's a community boxing club. Uh, it was set up in 1976. It is run on a 100% voluntary basis. There are nine of us coaches, and um, we we open the gym up three nights a week. Uh, we run a boxing team, and the area that our boxing club is in uh, does suffer from uh, some of the problems associated. It's it's an area of higher deprivation. So we have some of the, the social challenges that you'd, you'd expect. We have some antisocial behaviour from young people. There are some um, problems with, with crime. Um, and we are here, you know, I mean, it's interesting because there's, there's not many amenities. It's very easy to criticise young people. And, and, and people are very quick to do so, especially older people. But um, you've got to, as a community, I think... Um, make stuff available for young people to, to be engaged with. That's what this boxing club is. That's what we see ourselves as, as doing. And we take great pride in, in trying to make a difference in this community and give the young people somewhere to go and somewhere to be. Um, and, and it's something we, we take very seriously. Um, as I said, 100% voluntary. None of us take pay from this. None of us earn money from being a boxing coach here. Um, and as well as a boxing coach, I, I guess I'm... I'm the administrator as well, so I'm the person who tries to keep the place running, keep the keep the money coming in, and, and all of the stuff that comes with that. Now, today is the second second of September, um, so the amateur boxing season here in uh, the UK begins on the first of September and ends on the thirty first of May. So we have a boxing season that runs right through the winter and and into the and the spring. Um, and technically our boxers could be out from today, but I only got them back in two days ago. We only got them back in on the 31st of August for very good reason. For those who've been watching my videos, you'll have noticed that the, this gym has been subject to huge renovations and refurbishments. I will go into some detail on, on what's gone on there and, and how we're doing that and maybe the next video or, or one after that. Um, suffice it to say, we had to close because it's a building site, we couldn't have boxes in. Ideally, we would have had the boxes in at the start of August. So we would have been four weeks into our, into our um, training. Now, a competing boxer, so a boxer who is already boxed, who is, has some seasons under their belt, probably take us six to eight weeks to get them from a summer break where they've had four or six weeks of total rest probably takes us um, about six to eight weeks to get them ready to compete. So clearly our boxers, we've only got them in this week, our boxers are not going to be ready to compete until the end of October. Um, that four to six weeks, by the way, don't confuse that with how long it takes us to take someone who knows nothing about boxing and turn them into a boxer who can compete. That's about six to 12 months. That's not that's not for that's not six to eight weeks, and um, which is always interesting because that's in white collar sort of events. They often have six to twelve weeks of training. It takes us a lot longer to get an amateur boxer ready 
for, for good reason, the two things are very different. That's, a, that's another story. So for the next two weeks, we're going to build core fitness into those boxes. Uh, and that's long duration rounds, steady work rate. Just get them used to working again. And they need to be doing longer runs. So three miles to five miles maximum. Uh, runs two nights a week, slow and steady. Let's just build up our core fitness. That's what we'll be doing over the next couple of weeks. Again, I'll dip into some of that in, in upcoming videos just to work through some of the, the training that we're doing. Um, and of course, now it's, it's what I've got to do as an administrator is all of the smoke and mirrors stuff, the stuff that happens behind the scenes to keep a place like, like this running. And there are six key things I'm, 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 I'm doing at the, at the moment. Number one, I have to register this boxing club with England Boxing. Now, England Boxing is the governing body that manages amateur boxing in England. It costs us £220 for our, our registration. Uh, and what that registration gives us, basically, is insurance cover for in here. You know, it, it, keep, it, it means that as long as we run the place right, if there's any problems, we, we are insured for any kind of um, mishap. Also, it means we can compete on England boxing events. Um, so that's key. I also have to register the coaches. So I'm a coach um, and every year we have to re-register. And when we register, we get our credentials. So it's just a little badge. Now, OK, it's a badge. That means on fight nights, you know, I can get in the corner, I can get into the changing rooms. It you know, gives all access. But really importantly, every three years in order to keep this accreditation up to date we have to do a, a, re, a new criminal record check we have to do first aid training with defibrillator training and all that and we have to do um, a safeguarding training as well so that we're working with young people we are we are fully trained in spotting any problems they might have or being aware and trying to look after their their safety and well-being and all of those courses need booking. And for nine coaches, it's, it's £22 a coach just for the registration. But then you have to get them on courses and, and keep their accreditation up to date. So we manage all of that. So I've got to register all the coaches. I have to organise a doctor to come here to this gym. So we'll have a team of about 25 boxers every year. Um, or, and at the start of your, your amateur boxing career, a full medical is undertaken. So you sit down with a doctor and they go through all of the things they need to go through to confirm that you are fit to compete as a boxer and then every year I mean before every fight and before every fight a, a, a boxer is given a full check again and after every fight so as soon as they come out the ring the doctor goes and makes sure they're okay um, and boxers have to be re-medicaled every year so you can imagine I've got 25 boxers I've got to get a doctor here and we've got to go through that process of re-medicaling and when you when a, when a boxer is is um, completes their medical they get this this is a BCR one this is a effectively a record book that follows the boxer around for their their whole career and in their they have this is a blank one I'm not going to show any details of any any, any people on on video but you have all kinds of stuff in there about the the medical examination um and the doctor's comments and uh there's a an entry for every fight that the boxer has the date the opponent the weight and the results and this this is a, an official record of the boxer's whole sort of um career these are we, we look after these like they are gold we don't want to lose these things. Um, so that's, that's our, our, our um, boxers competition card. So we register the boxers and we baseline the boxers' weights. So I will take the weight of each boxer. Don't want to get them too wound up about their weight. And you know, young, these are young people. I don't want them, we don't want them to become fixated. So we just over time gradually educate them. You know, what are you eating? What are you drinking? You know, avoid fizzy drinks. and. As long as they're eating, you know, they're getting good nutrition and, you know, that's what's key, good nutrition. I should do some stuff over that. My wife's a, a nutrition and lifestyle coach and she's got a, a huge amount of knowledge, so I should do some stuff. And it's vitally important, and regardless of whether you're a competitor or not. So we just try and educate them and we monitor that weight throughout the season. 
and we look at what they've been last season and whether they're going through growth spurt. So really important to just monitor weight and keep an eye on that. And I've got to organise our, our boxing shows. We will do four boxing shows a year. Um, I mean, the fees we charge boxers to, to use this gym are really, really low. We charge five pounds a week um, for three sessions. So that's probably, I don't know, I can't do the maths. One pound one, 50, one pound 70 per night. Um, and so, and we, we purposely try and keep that as low as possible. This is not a profit making place, you know, we, and, and we don't want to introduce barriers to kids coming in through the door. We, we want kids to come in, so we keep it really cheap. So we have to find ways of earning money and of generating revenue, and boxing shows are a good way of doing that. We will do four boxing shows a year. That's where we do the whole show. We put on the bill. We organise all of the medical staff, the officials. We sell the tickets. We create the programmes, and it's a good money earner. We'll be doing our first one early November, and I hopefully will do a few videos about what the, the process is of doing that. So organising show dates for this year. Um, there are the six things I'm doing this week. Okay, so I'm going to stop. Some, you know, I'm not. I'm, I'm hoping this isn't going to boil, but I only keep doing it. I think as if you ask questions as we go, I'll always try and answer them. I'm quite excited to do this because I think a lot of people really don't understand what goes on in a place like this, and I maybe have some misconceptions about what boxing is and what amateur boxing is. Um, and I, I just want to try and shine a light on that. In the in the U, in Great Britain, there are over a thousand amateur boxing clubs, so we're not special. You know, there's thousands of coaches like me up and down this country alone. And the same can be said in America and Canada, Australia, the con European continent, everywhere. The, you know, we're not special or unique. There's thousands of people like me doing this. Um, so, anyway, I hope that we get something from it as we go forward. I'm going to stop. My name's Fran Sands. So don't forget to download your book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit. There should be a link here. Uh, otherwise, look after yourself and I'll see you uh, next week. Monday nights, I'm going to try and post these. Take care.